getting ready to hook my rotisserie up, I decided that I'm probably going to drill holes through that piece of uh, metal right there, uh, just straight through the side, right here, go through, and then go into the factory nut right there and put a nut and washer on the back side of that. Now, the other side has um, the nut is actually broke off, so I'll have to go ahead and uh, get a nut to replace that and put that in there. And I'll probably reach a tack welder. I think I can get right in here. I can reach a welder up inside there and tack that on there so that it, it'll always remain factory like this one. Uh, but anyway, I decided since I'm going to put it right here, I grabbed the old wire brush grinder right there and I started cleaning this area up really good, as, as good as I could, because I'm planning on sandblasting this thing. And so, this way, this metal is as clean as it can possibly be with this already on top of it. That way, I don't have to worry about unbolting that at some point and, um, you know, cleaning that up really good. Um, I think that in my mind, as long as it's this clean right here, uh, when I get it ready to put POR 15 on there, I think this is good enough, honestly, because this is in pretty good shape. The, the Actually, it was the other side over there that was worse. Uh, it was pretty rusty, but this one here is not too bad over here on this side, but that side over there was pretty rusty, but again, yeah, we got it cleaned up now, and I even did inside here where I'm going to put the washers, right there, so that should do the trick again you can see the rust right there was kind of actually pitting it pretty good but I, I ground on it for quite a while I got it down the metal now and when I put the POR on there I'm I'm pretty confident I, I'm, I'm feeling really good plus like I was saying I'm gonna be using that heavy-duty metal protector and undercoating as well so this thing's gonna be sealed up pretty good this time around but once again I'm getting ahead of myself I keep forgetting to set the camera up sometimes but at any rate uh, what's happening is I decided to take this uh, hanger bracket here and drill holes through it and this is the one where it's welded remember if you saw before in my video and so what I'm doing is, is I'm actually drilling a hole behind the weld so I'm actually attaching to this metal and I'm drilling a hole through this metal here as you can see right there and I made the holes really big so that way I could be a little sloppy about how I fit it on there and then when I tighten it down it should it should be fine so this is what I'm doing to get the front end hooked together and actually when you look at uh, online when you see how they they uh, have most of the cars and whatnot hooked up to this, you'll notice that there's usually a bracket that slides on here and it sticks way out and it hooks onto the car. Well, my garage is not that long. So that's the reason why I am purposely sucking this up really close. Um, and also, I don't want to actually modify any of my other brackets over there on the ground. So what I'm doing basically is just drilling the holes in here I know that's gonna be fine it's not gonna you know weaken that structure at all and you know if, if it comes down to it I'll just build another set of these right here uh, for for next time I mean if I if I really need to hang something clear off of here and I'm concerned about this hole that I just drilled here then that's what I'll do I'll just go ahead and make a whole new bracket here I can do that I've got the we got the welder right there and, and the plasma and the torch and all, everything I need to make it happen. So uh, the only thing is, is that yes, it is getting kind of tight and a little bit close. So, you know, sandblasting here is going to be, you know, it's, it's going to blast here and come back and hit my paint. Um, but the guy that said he's going to do it, uh, he said that supposedly he, he would just cover it up with a blanket. And so that's, you know, kind of what I'm hoping he does. But again, uh, the main reason why I'm sucking it up like that is because I want to make sure that it fits in my garage. And not only that, but it makes it a lot more structurally stronger as well when you've got this thing, you know, sucked up like that and it's not hanging way out there. So 
uh, I'm happy with it. It'll work for me. Um, and then back there, I need to get the rear axle taken out. I'm planning on using uh, the spring purchase. I think, actually, that's what these are here. Is this one is for slipping onto that tube, and then this goes up to your uh, your your rear leaf spring hanger bracket. And on this one, it's actually going to be either too narrow for my uh, hanger bracket, or if I go into the frame, it's going to be too wide. And I bought a whole box of washers that I'm going to use to you know space it out and uh, get it tight. I'm thinking that I'm probably just going to hook to the frame area, the rear subframe area, instead of the uh, leaf spring hanger bracket because honestly I'd like to blast out that bracket really well with when we sandblast it. So at any rate, um, that's what is happening so far. Now I'm going to set the camera up on the ground so you can watch the rest of it. see that I have the front end completely off the jacks now. So the front end is completely supported by the, the front section of the rotisserie. Now, now I need to work on the back and get it ready. I think I'm going to jack it up first. Put those jack stands underneath torque boxes in the back and then try to lower the axle out of the bottom and then once I get the axle out of the way I'll try to hook up the back end to the rear of the subframe basically and that should that should do it then all I have to do is just go ahead and tie in that center support bar underneath really I mean that's all I should have to do I might not even have to do that uh, I'm pretty sure it's self-supporting otherwise, but I'm going to do it anyway because that's what they call to do. So anyway, now I'm going to go work on the back there and try to get back in all done. Now, uh, I would put the camera out there, but the sun is out here. And it is a fall day, but that sun is pretty nice and warm. I don't want the camera to get too hot. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave it at this angle and you'll be able to see pretty much what's happening.
Okay, so we got it up on the rotisserie in the back, right there. And uh, one of the reasons why you don't have video of that is because of the fact that I worked into the late night hours. Um, I had the video going and then it got to a point where I needed to keep on going in the dark and I set up some lights and whatnot and I found it just too cumbersome to continue with the filming and whatnot and you weren't going to be able to see much of anything so I just turned the camera off, put it away and started working on getting the car put up on the rotisserie now. Um, what I decided to do is I decided to use the spring perch uh, mounts. Uh, this is the, I think they call this the Chrysler spring perch mount. And then you remember those little plates, uh, the, the package of four plates that I got? Well, I ended up using those. Uh, one on this side and one on that side. And yeah, I had to drill holes and I had to modify. So uh, basically, this is not, you know, exactly how I want to do it because I'm actually inside my rear spring perch um, as far as like I go right through the old bushings and everything and those are those are polyurethane bushings actually just making a statement I guess but those are 20 some years old they're gonna get replaced and that's kind of one of the reasons why I did not want to do that area because I want to be able to blast that out or whatever, clean it up. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen now, obviously, because I got that in there. But what I originally wanted to do is I originally wanted to make a plate to go through this hole and this hole, like a plate, and then come down and attach to here. But I didn't have enough materials at the time to do it. And as you can see, I'm getting pretty close to my trunk here. Uh, technically speaking, I'm, I'm actually really, uh, I'm actually really um, close. I mean, I don't know if you if you go online and look at these things, you'll know that these are really sticking out there. And I wanted to be as close as possible, mainly due so that I could get it in that garage. That's the biggest reason why I'm trying to keep it close. Um, and then you'll notice that this thing sags pretty good right here and that is because you're only using one bolt right there at that spring perch so when you do that it'll I mean I can tighten that all I want but it'll still kind of you know drop down and relax and then when you actually roll this car over what's gonna happen is that it's actually going to relax the opposite way which you know it's not going anywhere, the bolt's not going to come out, but it is going to actually kind of relax back and forth as I roll this over, which is again the reason why I wanted to use those two bolts that we got underneath there with a plate system because then that would lock it. It'd be a lot like the front. But this is the basically the end result of the Titan uh, 4500 rotisserie. And as you can see, yeah, I don't have those legs in, but I'm going to put those in now because I'm going to start working on this thing. I guess I've been keeping it off because I don't want to trip over it, and I did not plan to roll this thing over. So with that being said, I wasn't really worried about it, you know, tipping over or anything. Of course, not to say somebody else couldn't do it, I guess. Um, so, but all in all, uh, would I buy the Titan 4500 again? Yes, I would. And and I, I like I like everything really about it, other than what I discussed with you guys before. You know what I didn't like about it, but so far it's been a very good purchase. Um, I would like to redo that back in as far as how I got it attached, and I might do that later. But for now, it's good enough. And yeah, it's. Uh, it, it's definitely going to work and do exactly what I need it to do. So if you are in the market for a rotisserie, I highly recommend it. 
and I'll have a link down below to where you can go click on it and go get your own. So on to the next step people.